Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I have a special guest with us who's going to be talking about what an accelerator loan is or a home loan is. And all of you Canadians, Americans and everybody around the world needs to listen very carefully on the precarious situation that all of you homeowners, as it were, are in. Because all of your mortgages, which are debt pledges, are all set up to make you poor and also to lose your homes. That's throughout this world, anybody that's got a debt pledge or a mortgage. So I will introduce you, or I'm going to let him introduce himself. So go ahead, please. Hey, how you doing? My name is uh, Four Calling Sean, hyphen Darnell, Four Calling Kennedy. Pleasure to be here. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for doing this. Now, Four Calling Sean, he approached us, the Federal Postal Court, uh, on his mortgage. And we was calculating it, me and uh, with Sean, as well as the federal judge, fe sorry, Postal's federal judge in Australia. And it turned out that every time he pays his principal, which is the so-called amount that was given to him, which is all fiction, by the way, the interest rate goes up. So what does that mean? Let's imagine I gave you only on digit without without telling where I got the money from, $100,000. And you have to pay it back to me, say, at an interest rate, yeah, example, 10%, which means you pay me year on year with compounding interest, uh, yeah, 10% 10, 10 of that for the first year. Well, the way the accelerator mortgage works is that every time you get closer to actually paying off the actual principal, that is the so-called sum that I gave you as a mortgage provider, I put up the interest rates on it so you can never actually pay it off. To the point I've engineered it with just simple mathematics so that you will, at the end of the fruitation of that mortgage, as it were, will be worse off than you ever started. That means you'll be owing me more and more and I might ask another hundred thousand dollars for you to become free of that death pledge, as it were. Thus, that is the end result of an accelerator loan. So, Sean, my my question is this to you: We have your history, which means you're you you know we we know that you're ex-military. Yes. You're a successful businessman, and your yes. company is also. Uh, you know, expanding. How is it that in an, an intelligent man like you, who presumably has an IQ greater than, say, 90, to be able to enter military, that means you can add up, read, write, make life-changing decisions on the battlefield, whether to take a life or to spare a life or whether to give aid or not to give aid. In other words, you are the supreme commander of whether you take a life or not. I mean, that that is as about as good as it can get in terms of judgment. And yet, Absolutely. yeah, so yet somebody has set up a trap for you into a accelerator mortgage. It's bad enough that you got a mortgage, a debt to begin with. <laughs> yeah, so... Explain to me, uh, Sean, how is this even possible that there are quite literally millions of these mortgages out there that are designed for you to pay them as much money as they can and then you lose your property? It's how, been set up that... forever. It's been set up forever. And, 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 it, and it comes across as uh, most people know this terminology, the American dream. So they paint this elaborate picture that they want you to uh, fall asleep in. Uh, and they rock you to sleep with this American dream because everybody is buying into it. An American dream is buying a home. But that's where the tricks and the traps uh, lie to begin with. So I think what you're saying is that people have wonderful images in their head, 
you know, fictional images, made up images of the American life through publicity, media, media Absolutely. and publicity, media and publicity. But the paperwork, but the paperwork is the direct opposite of a dream, but a nightmare. Exactly. But that's in the trickery and in the self, because the language that we speak is also trickery. We speak in, we speak in, in a sense, babble. We, 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 we don't realize that the language, they created the language for us to speak to entrap us. So we don't even realize certain words that we use as a person. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a living man. <laughs> You're a living woman. And, and, and that's the distinction that gets you away from the tricks and the traps that they lay out because language is a form of a trick and a trap that they have already put in place. We know in law, albeit in contract law, anybody that does evil, thinks evil, or tries to perpetrate evil, you know, the three wise monkeys, mm. that already nulls and voids the contract. It's, yep. like a, you know, it's like a man or woman getting married. When a man lies to the woman about who he is, what he is, that already has destroyed the marriage. There was never a marriage to begin with. So there is never right. a contract to begin with because they have done foul upon the people, the American dream. You was mentioning, Sean, that something about in Iraq, that everybody's kind of, that people are lining up for a mortgage. Uh, explain that to me, please. People are lining up around the corner for a mortgage because, like I said, they've been painting this picture of this being the American dream. But the, the American dream is actually the American nightmare based off the terms and the, and, and the, and the interest rates and, and the, the, the years that you have to pay on it forever. It, it's a trap to begin with. I mean, even to, to even get the mortgage to begin with was a trap. And then they haven't you pay on it. I mean, it's impossible. I mean, contractually, I mean, unless... Uh, you understand that you're a dead entity. And uh, some people, when I talk to them, they look at me and they say, well, uh, I'm talking just like you. Uh, I've got flesh and blood just like you, but they don't understand that the trap is in not only the language, but it's in the uh, uh, the grammar that they use. It's in the, it's, it's in the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, uh, So the, the, the grammar is itself, you know, is poisoned, this passe syntax. Yes. It's, it's yes. all poisoned. Uh, the, the point I suppose you're making is that people around the world are sold a death pledge. You, you can't get more clearer than that. Yes. Thinking, thinking that it's got something to do with you actually owning your own home after 30 years or 25 years only to find that it's actually a pledge to the death. In other words, it will follow you to the death and beyond because it's transferred to your children and your offspring. Yes. And on and top of... And it was by choice. <laughs> and it was made by choice. So they trick you into choosing to make that choice. <laughs> because the images in our mind are actually so strong we follow it unconsciously that we will actually put our signature or autograph or agree to actually signing up to a death pledge where you yep. sold your children, even your grandparents, into perpetual servitude because it's a death pledge. It's a pledge in death. Yeah, and it will follow you generation after generation. Yes. And another instrument that they use, as, you, as you've now understood, Sean, is that it's also they put in all powers of attorney in. Yes. You know, the average American knows what a general power of attorney is, a specific power of attorney is. So when you put a general powers of attorney, commonly known as an all powers of attorney, you even give the solicitor or the law firm complete and utter jurisdiction and custody over your physical you. body, mm -hmm. your children, and even if you are in hospital, and they believe you're not going to pay back what you what they think you owe them, they can have the right to actually organ harvest you, because you can you can actually only organ harvest while you're still alive. I mean, how 
how do I explain this any better than that? You know, millions of people should be aware of this, but they are they are completely sleepwalking. That's because the society has them, the powers that be have them believing that they are equal and they, and, and they don't realize that they just a walking corporation. And they need to open up their eyes and realize that they are a living and breathing man and living and breathing woman. And once they understand the separation between the two, then the doors and the light will start shining. Because once you once your eyes are open and you actually see for what it's worth, it's, it's, <laughs> you can't turn. And, 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 and walk away from it from that point. So, uh, several more things I want to cover. I'm, I'm hoping that every, everybody listening to this has completely understand the horror of what an accelerator loan is and what, what an horrific thing it is to sign an all powers of attorney to somebody you don't even know you know what more words can i possibly use let, let me try sean how would you explain to the general public especially people in the us of a not us us of a what an all powers of attorney is perhaps you can explain it to them better than i do because i'm just recycling the old horrible words that i've been using you know and i don't feel i'm getting a message across uh, basically, all powers of attorney is you giving up your rights of to make any decision on your own. And you giving them permission and the authorization to make all decisions based on your behalf. But you're giving them willingly by choice because there's the tricks and the traps that you that they do to get you to give up that right for them to have authority over your persons. So, 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 so to speak. But since people do not understand the difference between a person and a living man and a woman, they fall into the trick of over thinking and over. over and over again. And it's everywhere, no matter what you do, whether it's you buying a car, whether it's, it don't matter. It, it really doesn't matter whether you signing up for a debit card, <laughs> where you uh, 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 filling out a, a voting poll. Uh, if you're going to the gun show and you're filling out the application to whether you're a Mr. or a Mrs. or you, you're black or you're white or Hispanic, it's all part of the tricks and the traps. But we just follow suit because we think that's the way that it's supposed to be. And then so, as soon as somebody tells you something different than what the, 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 the way of the world moves, then something wrong with you because you've been so deeply programmed and believe in the way society works that anything else is uh, ludicrous. So you mentioned, you know, anybody ticks that box, Hispano, Asian, white, black, you know, that box that looks so innocent where they're trying to say, they're just trying to get data to help you, you know, facilitate your needs as it were. Perhaps you can say a little bit more to your fellow Americans, what it means to tick a white uh, a box saying that you're a white man or a white person or a white woman? Uh, make you non-existent. Uh, it, it, it puts you in a place of like, uh, I think is a, if I'm not mistaken, like the coloring of law. I mean, it's, it just takes you completely out the, 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 the equation altogether just by checking that box. And uh, for you to argue the fact afterwards, they will look at you like you're crazy because you agreed by signing and checking it off that you understood what you was doing, but you really don't in the, in the end. Because there's another box, isn't it, to say that you understand what you're ticking exactly. and you've understood what you've read. Exactly. So what they're actually understanding is the presumption and assumption, the images of in their mind as to what a white man or white woman is, accept what it means in contract law by definition of the word itself absolutely so we know that when they tick that box they're actually claiming to be european or north african that's what white man means it means that he is a non-native america that is a non-native of south africa but really just north african not south african and that his origins 
and where he belongs by ticking that box is that he is actually an illegal alien. That's what an alien is. It's illegal. Alien means no lien, which means he's got no contract. And they've walked and talked the entire American white population on the back of what they call white privilege in ticking that box because that box means so much to them. You know, the mortgage providers, the, uh, the de facto federal government that it's so worth for them to do this because then they can sell you death pledges. Absolutely. So let's imagine, you know, you've been successfully programmed and your friend has been successfully programmed that he is an upstanding white citizen and that you are an upstanding black citizen, proud in your black body and he proud in his white body. You both go in for a home loan and you tick the box and he ticks the box. We know now what it means for him to tick that box. What will it mean to you, Sean, when they you tick that box to say that you're a black man? I'm, I'm, I'm just a man. <laughs> I'm just a living man. Uh, I don't fall underneath that color of law. I don't fall underneath. I'm just a living man. So, you know, let's imagine that you have been successfully programmed by ticking that box, you know, that you are a black man, as it were, you know, like, say, five years ago or something mm -hmm. before you became white wiser. What would that mean? Because they need to hear this from you. You know, you, uh, this. It traps, what, what you their, it traps you into their contract. It traps you into their, in, in, into their corporate web. It, it traps you into their, 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 their language because they created the language. And, and, and just because you pres they, 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 they presume it, that you uh, really understand what you're reading and, and, and all that it says. And because you don't and you just checking off boxes, you actually being you, you, you pulling yourself deeper into the web by contracting with them and you telling them that you understand exactly what, what you're doing. But really, technically, you don't. And a black man, as Obama came out when he won the election and came out on his opening statement and said, don't call me a black first prior black prime minister because black has no standing in law. Black has no standing in law, like black law dictionary. Has no standing, has no in, standing law. in law. Yeah. Like the black family out of Venice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They has they have no, no black nobility, they call them. Mm -hmm. You know, the black pope. They have no standing anywhere on this planet. In fact, I liken them to uh featherless canaries you know, canaries that are so inbred that they've lost their feathers and their ability to fly. You see them for what they really are, right. you know, and I'm and I'm sorry about insulting canaries. You know, I, I don't mean to insult canaries, but these are freaks that we're dealing with, freaks that create such things mm -hmm. and they think they can get away with it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm coming for them, especially the Lord, spiritual and temporal. I'm coming for you. Yeah, which I'll be exposing later on what all that means soon as I wrote it, wrote out the letters uh, to them to show them up for what they are. Anyway, that's a, a different story. I wanted to ask you, you know, it looks like now another reason why Iraq was invaded is to also, as well as other things, is to sell the population the American dream and the nightmare that follows. So it sounds like these rather pernicious individuals invaded Iraq to turn a dream into a nightmare. And that's why they're now, you know, lining up, as you say, wanting to buy mortgages. But in reality, they don't own the land, not even the building not even their name. They don't even own their own name because they sold all that out because the images in their mind about acquiring the American, American dream, dream has but just become... On, so for you to really see what's really happening. And even if you end up uh, paying it off, you still become a tenant in your own home that you think that you own. <laughs> so on that, you know... I'm going to go into our website. You'll cut off for a few seconds, but you'll, you'll be, you know, your voice will be still with us. 
you know, do do make your commentary, okay? I'm going to okay. sh show you what uh, Sean is talking about. Sean is talking about this particular, you know, documents on my website. And here, you know, you can see one document from the US, another one from Australia, and I think another one from Australia, or US as well, and another one from England, okay? Uh, remember, England has many jurisdictions. One is the British Isles, that's one. England is another, and United Kingdom is another, three. But people don't understand that. So he's actually talking about these documents. When we look at it, sorry, bigger pardon. Um, let's pick on this one. Yeah, it will actually say joint tenant. Okay, you guys can read all of that, and it'll be right there. And this, this, these are also called uh, mortgage free. Yeah, they're so called mortgage free, and you guys can see all of these things for yourself. Like the mayor and the burgess is actually the beneficiary of your home. <laughs> yeah, it's it's in your face. Yeah, that's why we created the land registry. It's a part of a salvage claim where people can actually go in and log. And they're quite literally, you know, these are the amount of people that have actually logged in. The list goes on and on and on and on and on in every country in the world. Sorry, almost every country in the world because we're, inter you know, we are global as it were, okay? So, Sean, you know, you, you must have visited this website before you contacted us. And you're looking at this document and you're thinking, hey, hold on a minute. This guy has completely paid off his mortgage, you know, like 20 years ago. And he's still the tenant in his own home. What's going on? Exactly. I mean, what, what went through your mind when you, when, you, when you realized that what was going on? I had to scratch my head. I almost lost it. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. <laughs> it's like, wow. how could... I'm an intelligent man. How can the trickery, like, how could it be that, and it's right in your face, like it's, it sits right in your face. But like I say, it goes back to the language that they use. <laughs> yeah, because the language, as David Wayne Miller points out, is 100% fraudulent and poisoned yes. in order to make slaves of people and for you to warfare, you know, with each other just because somebody called you a white man or a black man and you take offense to it <laughs> oh, boy must you take offense to being called white and black right. because that takes you right out of any standing in law yeah look sean do you have any last words because i want to hand this over to you you know to finish it off what what's your last words what's your wisdom on this you know uh, and please please let me remind people you are ex-military. You're a successful businessman, an expanding business. Yeah. So if you fall into this, what bloody hope is there for the, the rest of the world? You know, innocently thinking. So I'll completely hand it over to you now. My wisdom that I can give based on everything that you said is to <clears throat> make sure you subscribe to uh, Mark. And, and, and oh, allow wow. them to show you the tricks and the traps that uh, was displayed today because there's so many. And once you, like I said, once you open your eyes, it'd be hard for you to close them because it's, and it's sitting there right in your face. And it's almost, it pisses you off at times because it's like so disrespectfully in your face, but you don't really realize because of the language that they use. But once you get out of that language and start understanding what language really is from a parse syntax grammar standpoint and, and, and learning how to contract properly, uh, life will become a little bit simpler. Uh, you'll, see it, you'll, see, you'll see the forest from the trees. Uh, you, you, instead of being in, in, in traffic and just seeing three cars back, you'll begin to have an area of view. And that's the wisdom I wanna give by uh, subscribing to mark you'll get a whole aerial view of the playing field and it'll open up your eyes when you actually see what you don't see it's staring right in your face well thank you very much for that endorsement you know i wasn't expecting that 
but uh, my, you know, perhaps you can help me with this. My, my, I always feel that I am failing in getting this message out, even though, you know, we had a, a judges meeting every Sunday. We have a judges meeting, and uh, some of the judges were pointing out the fake news that's going on about Ira Ukraine war where the pictures that they're actually using, the mainstream media, are actually using cardboard cutout guns and machine guns that wobble in the air when the air gets a little bit too strong, you know, when the wind mm -hmm. picks it up. And that's, you know, and people are falling for it. People are falling for it because that's how hypnotized they are. They can't tell the difference between a fake gun and a cardboard cutout. Yeah. They, they can't tell the difference between a president and a director. Mm -hmm. They don't they don't seem to understand the difference it's between one a movie. One, one, that's what Lance said. One big movie. It's one you know? big movie. <laughs> Sometimes when you turn on the news, just grab some popcorn. You just sit back and watch the show. It's really a show. That's what it is. With show with, of course, deadly consequences. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, look, uh, Sean, I want to thank you for, you know, taking this time out. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much for the endorsement. Yeah, it's, it's heartfelt. And if you guys out there feel that I'm getting this messages, message out, let me know by the comment section. Because I get frustrated that I'm, I'm not saying enough. I'm, I'm perhaps missing something out. You know, download this video and upload it to your YouTube channel. You know, open up a YouTube channel. You know, the Canadians realize, my God, if we don't do something, they're going to turn us into slaves. Yeah, and that's that's how close they came. And they decided to do something about it. And I stepped up to the mark and I helped them out. Please, guys, share this video with millions of people. Let there be millions of viewers listening to this because you don't need a death pledge. We can get rid of it. You don't, you look, any Christian, any Jew, any Muslim, any man or woman with any faith cannot have a death pledge. You know, you, that avoids faith. Yeah, you can't go to church or, you know, you have to confess your sin that you have a death pledge. You know, I can't. have been programmed for so long that it's, uh, uh, sometimes they get scared of the truth. Indeed. But the truth, Thank is you. The, the truth is in the light. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sean, Thank for you. sharing this knowledge. And, you know, I wish you all the best with the, what you're doing with the Federal Post of Courts. And I wish you all all the best in your business adventures. And let's get rid of this bloody accelerator uh, mortgage uh, home loan. You know, what, <laughs> what, what, a, what an insult yes, to mankind. Ex-servicemen, you know. It's it's under it's under the principle of zero tolerance, ladies and gentlemen, because you must never tolerate this type of conduct or behavior from any corporation, from any man or woman. It it immediately puts them into the realm of a death sentence. You know, just because they're getting away with it doesn't mean that they can keep doing it and get you to believe you're a victim. It's zero tolerance. That's the name of the law. Because you can never tolerate such wickedness in your in your world and life. Absolutely. That's why we have the power to remove mortgages globally. Yeah. Thank you once again Thank and you. Uh, for your efforts. Thank you very much. Yes, sir.